um, what what I found interesting as soon as I started reading Erdogan's text is that he's uh, how how serious he is um, in in developing uh, socialist theory and and ideology, like when he discusses the the problems of the 20th century and the uh, defeats of several you know revolutionary movements. It's it's always you feel his interest in in doing it better in you know resolving those problems like really finding out what the problems were um and to offer ideas offer alternatives of how to, how to do it better and this is one thing that impresses me about the his discussion of ideology and another one is how how deep he's trying to dig into the problems like he's uh always going further in the question like it's not only about the, the problem of a certain strategy of socialism or a certain uh organization it's more like what are the underlying problems uh wh what are the historical roots um of those problems and how far do they go back he goes very far back in the analysis you know to the beginning of written history and beyond like even before written history i find that very impressive and uh, very important. I think it's a very important contribution um, to to socialist and revolutionary thought, and especially um, what he's doing in in terms of putting the uh, the question of of women and of of gender right into the middle of every analysis that I, I find very important that I haven't seen in any other um, well male. A socialist thinker there, there. So I think his his ideology has a lot to offer to a lot of people, not only in the Middle East, um, but also in in the rest of the world. So so all these things, in all these things, Erdogan has proven that he can lead um, the the movement to a peaceful solution. So so there is a very important uh, parallel, and people who want want this uh want a peace uh and, and want uh freedom for the the peoples of the middle east uh they they would now support uh Jalan in this um so 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 there is an important parallel and and i think this is it is possible to mobilize um a lot of energy there by connecting uh Erdogan's freedom and the, the end of the isolation, not only to his human rights as an individual, but also to the collective rights of the Kurds, like saying, well, he's the, the, our main political representative, he's our leader, many people say, uh, so he has to be free to, to talk and to, to represent us and to, to talk, uh, but also to uh, his political function as a as a as a peacemaker i think in in time it's getting it's getting more important to draw also some uh attention to to his age and the long time he has he has spent in isolation <laughs>